is the um, grey water outlet that I've diverted from the house which is right up the slope over there and I'm going to use this um, grey water to channel it into the orchard uh, using the uh, irrigation pipe uh, fortunately the orchard is um, below the house and it's on the slope so it's, um, it will be gravity fed Uh, dug the hole uh, for distributions and uh, testing the size now uh, I think they'll be alright, perfect fit now I'll be um, taking this to, um, to drill the holes to fit into the uh, uh, pipe okay, the um, hole's done and uh, fitted it nicely I'm going to start uh, digging the um, dirt uh, earth around here so it's a good idea to put a layer of plastics in and uh, there you go this um, distribution pipes connected silicon all around the um, um, holes so that it doesn't leak out and this uh, pipe I'm using is actually um, uh, 50 mil or 2 inches with um, holes in them uh, just bury it slightly underground uh, probably about 10 10 to 15 centimeter deep and uh, this is where the water will be channeled because it's the um, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a steep slope every couple of meters I dig a hole and put um, a pot ups, upside down pot in it so that um, I, I would be collecting a reservoir of water every couple of meters uh, for the water to slowly seep into the ground rather than to just rush uh, down down the slope as you can see the ground is pretty moist um, somebody is using the um, water in the house There you go. This um, pot in there would uh, prevent um, dirt from um, you know filling up the hole, and it'll have a, a, a reservoir of water inside. When the water is drained off, it'll just be a, you know an empty space. Looks like somebody is having a shower in the house. Well, at least it's working. The water is coming out nicely there, and oh more to be done better get on with it then thanks for watching